Hi, I'm Janet Nunn, and I'm here today to show you how fun it is to paint with these Dr. P.H. Martin's Fine Art Watercolors. They're liquid watercolors, and they're going to make your life as an artist painting watercolors so much simpler. They're hydrated, already ready to go, they're light fast, they're not going to fade on you, and they're non-toxic, which makes them really nice. They come in 36 wonderful colors and two different sizes. This particular size is a one ounce size in a glass bottle, perfect for studio painting. It handles a lot of paint. The other size is this half ounce size and it comes in a plastic container and it's perfect to take on trips with you. You don't have to worry about it breaking and you can use the cover for a palette and it makes it very convenient. So all you have to bring is your brushes and your paper. Okay, now that the mask is dried, it's time to have fun painting. And I'm gonna put a few of these brushes to the side and start with my big, large brush. I'm gonna use this beautiful phthalo blue. I'm gonna shake it just a little bit because when it sets for a while, it needs to have a little shaking to it. If you notice, I didn't put out a lot of paint. You don't need a lot of paint. This is very concentrated watercolor and it doesn't take a lot of paint. So I'm going to use phthalo blue, but before I do the phthalo blue, I'm just going to take a little bit of water and come here around the edge. This is very concentrated, so if you notice, I'm just going to pull a little bit off to the side. The paint, the paper, and the water are all going to run together to create this beautiful sky. I love this. I'm going to use this gamboge. It's a beautiful, beautiful gold. And I'm also going to use this quinacridone magenta. All of these are in this first set. So uh, when you're looking for certain colors, if you just go to the first set, you'll find all the colors you need. So let's add a little bit more detail and add a little bit more mountain area. So take a little bit more gamboge and go over that blue sky that we had painted earlier. And to that, I'm going to use some more of this Winacronome magenta. And if it dries out on you, just add a little bit of water to hydrate it, and it goes right back to where it was. A lot of times you used to have to wait a day or two to finish a painting and when you finished it, you weren't sure exactly what color you used to finish the painting. And with these Dr. P.H. Martin's watercolors, every time I start a painting, I know that each color is going to be the way it should be. It's going to be intense and it's going to be the color that I had yesterday. I don't have to mix anything uh, to make it a different color. And that is what's so cool and makes it so much easier for an artist to use. The other cool part about this is I didn't use a lot of paint, but yet I have a lot of color on this painting. It doesn't take a, a very much paint in order to achieve this beautiful color. And that's what I love about the paints, too, is the intensity of the color is always there. You can make it stronger, you can make it lighter. But every time I get into this section of paint, it's always going to be these colors, and that's what I like about it. I hope you enjoy painting with these Dr. P.H. Martin's watercolors as much as I do. Thanks for watching.